Hello, I'm Christy with GreenLivingOffGrid.com and today I want to answer the question of how to pick a good fish for your aquaponics system. What kind of fish will grow best in your system and how many fish can you have in your system? Here are my 85 gallon tough tank tubs that I have in my greenhouse. I have about six goldfish in these 85 gallons. A general rule of thumb is that you want to calculate one gallon of water per inch of fish and usually on your first fish you double that. So if you're going to have an aquaponic system let's say in your greenhouse with these little tough tanks you're going to want to say have at least 20 gallons for your first goldfish because goldfish grow to about 10 inches in length so it's about um, 10 gallons per goldfish but on your first goldfish you would calculate 10, uh, 20 gallons for your first goldfish and then you would do additional 10 gallons per additional fish. So with my 85 gallon aquaponic tanks I could easily have seven fish. I currently have six because I want to keep the parameters uh, with a lot of, lot of room for growth. These guys seem to be doing really well with that. I have some shabakins in here and regular goldfish and I also have a sarissa and, but they're all in the goldfish family. They get along really well and they do really well in aquaponics. Another reason I chose goldfish for my greenhouse system is because goldfish are more hardy. They can handle the colder temperature in water. I have about eight, 50 degree water coming out of my well. So every time I do water changes, if I keep my tanks about 50 degrees, I don't have to mess with heating the water and I don't have to worry about fish shock from cold temperature coming out of my well water. I usually keep my tanks 50 degrees all year round even in the winter when it gets down to negative 10 in my greenhouse because of the insulation I've put on the side of my tanks. I am able to maintain 50 degrees easily with my 500 watt fish heater and what I'll do is I'll set that thing on a timer and based on how cold the temperature is getting at night I will set it to go on at half hour egg increments um, and just alternate that. So these guys seem to do well with that. I change the water weekly, especially in the winter when I don't have grow beds. And of course I use my prime supplement to hedge against any nitrates or ammonia buildup. And they do really well in this aquaponic system. So my fish of choice when you have a 50 to 85 or 100 gallon system, smaller aquaponic systems is to just grow some goldfish. They're really easy to keep. If you have a larger system, like you'll see a lot of people that have these large aquaponic farms and they, they have like tilapia growing, tilapia requires 80 degree temperature. They also require a lot more space because they grow to a solid foot in length. And I would say don't go with a system any smaller than 300 gallons if you're going to try to grow tilapia. And I also suggest if you're going to grow tilapia, make sure that you're in a zone where you can handle the the warmer temperatures that tilapia require they require 80 degree temperature water and if it's going to cost you a fortune to heat that water you might want to think twice about growing tilapia here in, in Colorado we have temperatures that get down to zero and sometimes 10 degrees below zero so I chose the goldfish because it wouldn't cost as much to heat and I can maintain the tanks with my insulation and they do really well on my system. Plus in my greenhouse I didn't have room for a 300 gallon fish tank so I had to go with a fish that could handle a smaller system. And because again my system is smaller even though koi is more hardy and able to handle the colder temperatures I don't have a big enough tank for koi. Koi grow to like a foot and a half maybe even three feet in length depending on the type of koi you get and so I, I can't grow those in my 85 gallon tubs. So I chose goldfish. I have these six little fish in here and I could put seven fish on my 85 gallons but these guys just do really well with the with the 85 gallons having six fish and I, these are this is my second year on growing these goldfish and they seem to really like the system. If you have a smaller system let's say a 10 gallon aquarium and you you bought a little you know system where you could put some grow bed on top of that aquarium I would recommend a fish like maybe a Neon Tetra or a Zeba Daniel. Those are pretty hardy fish and they're small. They're like, they grow to be about an inch, inch and a half. Those 
that size fish will do well in a little 10 gallon aquarium but if you have something bigger my fish of choice really is goldfish they're happy they get along really well and they really seem to do well in aquaponics well I hope that answers your question about what kind of fish to put in your aquaponic system as always Feel free to check us out at greenlivingoffgrid.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.